Imagine the invisible threats lurking on the objects you touch daily, silently waiting to infect you. Fomite transmission, an often overlooked mode of disease spread, can be an unseen catalyst for infectious diseases. Understanding how fomite transmission works is crucial in breaking the cycle of infection. Everyday items like doorknobs, gym equipment, and even money can harbor infectious agents. These pathogens can survive on surfaces for hours or even days, waiting for a new host. When an infected person touches an object, they leave behind bacteria or viruses. Another person touching the same object can pick up these pathogens. If they touch their face, particularly the mouth, nose, or eyes, the pathogens gain access to the body. This mode of transmission is concerning because it involves objects we frequently touch without thinking. Comparing fomite transmission with airborne transmission helps us understand different prevention strategies. Airborne transmission occurs when respiratory droplets or aerosols are inhaled by others. This type of transmission can happen over longer distances and doesn't require direct contact with objects. Preventing fomite transmission involves rigorous cleaning protocols and personal hygiene practices. Regular hand washing and disinfecting high-touch surfaces are key to reducing fomite transmission. Preventing airborne transmission requires wearing masks, improving ventilation, and maintaining physical distance. In environments where both transmission modes occur, a combined approach is necessary. Environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, and airflow patterns influence pathogen survival. Cooler, less humid environments can extend the viability of pathogens on surfaces. Effective ventilation helps disperse respiratory droplets, reducing the risk of airborne transmission. Seasonal changes impact transmission by influencing human behavior and environmental conditions. During colder months, people spend more time indoors, increasing the likelihood of transmission. Understanding these variations helps develop targeted public health strategies. Effective prevention requires a comprehensive approach addressing both fomite and airborne transmission. Public education is vital in ensuring widespread adoption of prevention strategies. Educating the public about hygiene practices empowers individuals to reduce fomite transmission. Raising awareness about mask wearing and proper ventilation helps mitigate airborne transmission. Public health campaigns and community engagement are key tools in disseminating information. Understanding transmission modes allows for tailored interventions in specific environments. Combining multiple preventive measures provides a stronger defense against disease spread. Vaccination remains a powerful tool in mitigating the spread of infectious diseases. By promoting hygiene practices, vaccination, and adapting strategies, we can safeguard our communities. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and protect your health. If you would like more information regarding the effectiveness of high-performance infection prevention and control measures, or if you would like to schedule a free, no-obligation on-site assessment of your facility's custodial needs, contact us today for a free quote.